Okay. All right. Well, uh, welcome everyone to day three of the Open Infra Summit. Um, welcome to those of you in the audience and those who might be trickling in. Um, I'll take a couple minutes to talk about what's going on with the Sahara project. Um, I myself, um, I'm Jeremy. I work for Red Hat, a software engineer. And we'll be hearing about Sahara past, present, and future. Thank you. So if you don't know what Sahara is, it is an open stack service. And it provides a scalable data processing stack, which basically means the Hadoop or Spark ecosystem and the, um, the associated management interfaces. So you, it allows users to deploy and scale clusters, uh, run jobs on them, um, all with pretty minimal effort. Um, so these clusters can either be virtual machines or bare metal with Ironic. Um, you can deploy either the upstream Apache distribution of all the software or the vendored versions from Hortonworks or Cloudera or Mapper. Um, and you can run these jobs against data in object store, uh, shared file system, or just in regular HDFS like you would do traditionally. A uh, bit of background, the uh, project started in 2013. Uh, first official release was in 2014. Over these past six or so years, most people have either been from Mirantis, Red Hat, and EasyStack who have contributed, but it's been all sorts of people. Um, these days, it's just three of us from Red Hat who do most of the work. Um, so the typical thing for all these project updates is to say what you've done in the past cycle. Unfortunately, it hasn't been all that much. It's been a very small team, and we've all been busy with other things, but Python 3 support is now in much better shape with Train, so just in time for 2020. Um, we followed the community goal for PDF documentation, and then with what other little time we had, we did some other minor fixes. But I mean, by comparison in Stein, we finally, we got a lot of stuff done that had been hotly anticipated, but since then, not as much. Um, some bad news is that a lot of the Hadoop vendors have all gone belly up. So Hortonworks was acquired by Cloudera. Cloudera itself has had plenty of financial trouble. Um, and Mapper was somewhat dissolved, and the assets were bought by HP. Um, luckily, Sahara can also deploy the regular upstream Apache version, so that's not a huge deal. Plus, we've also moved all these vendor plugins out of tree, so the maintenance is not terrible. Uh, besides that, there's not, like I said, not that many people working on Sahara, so the future is a bit unclear with who will maintain it. I'll still be around, but as time goes on, we're looking for new contributors. So that, that's the good news is that you can help. Uh, we're looking for new people to join the project, um, either if you're personally interested or if your employer sees some value in it, um, please come talk to us. and find out how you can help. Um, so specifically, you can even start tomorrow. We'll have some sessions at the PTG uh, at the Kilo table. Um, so if you go to the Etherpad or follow the QR code to the Etherpad, you'll be able to tell us if you'll attend. And before lunch, that would be best if you don't know much about Sahara and you want to get started and learn, learn, learn more about what it can do and what you can do. Uh, that'll be before lunch, after lunch. If you already know a little bit and you have ideas for what's the most important feature or the most important bug to fix and how we can get work done, uh, stop by then. Uh, but importantly, if you don't put your name on the Etherpad, I won't be there. So again, scan the QR code, um, which you'll see again in a minute. And you know, tell me if you come. You know, it'd be very good to see you. Um, Moreover, um, if you are thinking of contributing, some good reasons to think about contributing to, to Sahara. One is that if you don't know much about OpenStack but you want to get started, Sahara involves all of the other core projects. So if you want to learn a bit about, let's say, Cinder, Sahara uses Cinder. Heat, Sahara uses Heat, uh, and so on. Oops. Um, Sahara is also a very small project. So if you want to become a leader very quickly, um, you can start contributing. and probably within a very short time, you'll already be core reviewer PTL because 
It's a small team you want to hear from new voices. Um, and of course, if there's any business value or personal value, again, you should actually come and contribute and get all of your desired features implemented instead of just waiting for me to do it. Um, so there's lots to do. Um, even though Sahara's been around for six years, there's always more to do as the big data space is changing and as user needs change and we finally address some long-awaited uh, concerns. Um, if you're interested in Castellan or Barbican, we need to fix the integration there. Um, we need to fix the integration with Spark Jobs and Python. We're also in the middle of a transition from disk image builder to libguestfs. It's almost done, but if, if you know a lot about these tools, feel free to pitch in and help us out. There's some Java code, so if you like Java, um, we need help moving all that Java code back into the Apache namespace because I don't know any Java, and it'd be better if Apache people can maintain it. Um, and as always, uh, Sahara deploys lots of software, and we need to upgrade that software so you can always get the latest and greatest versions of Hadoop and Spark and Storm and Hive, Pig, everything like that. And yeah, if you know a lot, a lot about CI and testing, we need help there as well. Um, and finally, perhaps the most useful things is that we've heard on the user survey that there are four main pain points preventing adoption of Sahara. So if you are at all interested in helping us with documentation, uh, performance, stability, or maintenance of clusters, then that would be the quickest way to encourage adoption or re-adoption of Sahara and bring some new life into the project. Uh, finally, in case you've just walked in, a reminder of what Sahara is w once again. Uh, it deploys and manages data processing clusters and jobs, which I think is kind of cool. Um, even though training was slow, uh, we're trying to pick up the pace again and get some stuff done, so there's lots to do. You can contribute, you can contribute even as soon as tomorrow. Again, just put your name on the Etherpad, which is available by the, by the QR code, or ping me on IRC, or send me an email, and that's about it. Feel free to talk to me offline, um, off stage, and I'll be ha happy to answer any questions about Sahara, both from the developer perspective or the business perspective. So thank you very much. Um, very nice of you all to come early in the morning, so thank you. Thank you.